Hi, thank you for joining me. I'm going to be reading the Earth Class Notes, written by the Twelfth Apostle, entitled Earth Class Number Three. Life at full throttle is precious, and these moments will come to an end on Earth, and we shall rise to a level of life with abilities and skills that we inherited and learned on Earth, functioning forever at that level of life. It's important to note that Moses wrote the first five books of the Bible, for he was the best individual to do so at that time in human history. Moses' writings of this record does not fully explain the truth of the subjects concerning creation. Later, some of the chosen prophets of God wrote truth that provided much help in our understanding especially regarding the fall of Lucifer, some of the consequences resulting from this angelic fall and the warfare that followed. Lucifer blamed all of his actions upon God for declaring his intentions of creating a man in his image, with Lucifer thinking these abilities should be bestowed upon him. God created man man being a trichotomy of body, soul, and spirit. Eden was created for the one man, Adam, to progressively learn and understand all truth within 12 foundational subjects. Adam was told to obey God's instructions in his progressive education and definitely not seek to understand the the eleventh subject of good and evil, before he was prepared to do so, or he would misunderstand the person of God and become fearful of God and lose his relationship with God. Eden was never a test or a trick to deceive man. No, Eden was for man's benefit and for his blessing. Always remember to believe the satanic lie that God knows all things that will ever be and has always known the details of all things that has happened or will ever happen, this is simply to adopt blind faith in literal antichrist theology. You see, ultimately, this subtle deception would place responsibility and consequences of all things upon God. This is, of course, blasphemy. The ultimate objective and highest calling for every responsible individual here and now is obtaining and believing truth, which in turn leads to godlikeness. So, after all is said and done, this life is not measured in what you have. This life is measured in what you are. Until next.